All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. I'm here to recap the Dodgers game from last night. They started a, a three-game series here against the Boston Red Sox, and the Dodgers take game one. Mookie Betts' return uh, to Fenway. He got a nice ovation before his uh, first at bat of the game. But uh, through the first few innings of this game, it wasn't easy uh, for the Dodgers. Uh, they actually trailed 3 uh, Alex Verdugo hit a home run on the first pitch. Uh, the Dodgers were immediately behind one to nothing, and then Trevor Story hit a two-run home run off Lance Lynn. So he hit those two homers. I mean, he gave a lot, a lot of hits. He gave up ten, but before the uh, Grand Roll gave up one of those runs, or Max Muncy did technically on that air. It was a really bad game for Lance Lynn. He gave the ten hits, only struck out one, but he only gave up three, two, three, or three runs before that air. So he was getting hit around, but that's his worst start, and he's only giving up three runs. And the Red Sox offense is hot right now. So, well, yes, ten hits, well, three three earned runs, uh, because one of them was on an air by Max Muncy. He just can't continue to play third. Or if he, I mean, he could just easily held the ball and got that, took the the one out instead of trying to get the. Second one because it was it wasn't even fucking close. So it, just any normal third baseman would just hold on to that. But yeah, uh, other than that, Lance Lynn, I thought besides getting those two home runs, he was not great, but able to limit the damage. Totally three runs in the game, and Trevor Story in that homer just barely got over the monster. It was just good hitting. It wasn't that bad of a pitch. It was out of the zone. It just Trevor Story hit it good. The one Verdugo hit right, right, right over the plate. But there's only three runs uh, Lance Lynn gave up. But he was he was kind of just meh. So the Dodgers were down 3 nothing, And they weren't really, re weren't, first few innings weren't really able to get anything off Cutter Crawford to the first, like, five innings. But in the sixth inning, they started to get to Cutter Crawford. Mookie Betts got a double. Freeman singled. They took out Cutter Crawford, bringing Nick Pavetta. First pitch curveball. Uh, Will Smith almost gets it over the monster. It's right off the top of the wall. Uh, Bates would score. Bates would score. And it'll be second and third with a, I believe, no outs. And Muncy grands out. The first baseman has trouble with it. Gets the out at first still, but a run would score. Freeman would score. Uh, Peralta. And then a uh, flow out. Hernandez, KK Hernandez gets his for against his former team. As well ties it up with an RBI single. He's been so clutch since joining this team. So many clutch hits with runners in scoring position. Uh so yeah, the Dodgers tied up there. They had two straight big in big innings, the sixth and the seventh. Uh, where they scored six of their seven uh, combined runs. So they scored s six of those seven runs in the sixth and seventh innings. Uh, an RBI double from Freddie Freeman to give the Dodgers a 4-3 to three lead. His 48th double, I believe. Just crazy how many doubles he has this year. I think the MVP race, is from, as of now, is between... Bates and Freeman. I know Cooney has a stolen basis, but it's easier to get stolen basis than it ever has been. And I just think Bates and Freeman have been more impressive. Have more impressive seasons right now. Uh, but Muncy hits a two RBI double to give the Dodgers a six to three lead. Um, but the Red Sox get one, and what could have been a worse inning. One round to take it there is a miracle. Lance Lynn gave up two hits. They took him out. Greater all. Uh, a roller to third. Muncy got the out at third. For, but for some reason, instead of just holding on to the ball, he, tr he tries to get the out at first. Freeman can't get it. And a run would score. But that's the only run the Red Sox would get, which was a miracle right there. Uh, Greater all. Um, 1.2 innings pitch. Two hits, no runs, no walks. He struck out two. Two big strikeouts in that inning. They bring in Vessia. He gave up a hit, but Mookie Betts... Uh, Got it to Freeman in the infield. Uh, don't know what McGuire was doing running the bases. or No, who was it that was running the bases? Was it? I think it was a pinch runner. <clears throat> and Connor Wong. Yeah, Connor Wong. Don't know what he was doing right there. Uh, they got him out at, uh, trying to go to third. 
just idiotic base running there from the Red Sox. Uh, the Dodgers get one in the ninth on a sack fly from <coughs> David uh, Peralta. And there's your final score, 7-4. to four. If Evan Phillips gets his 20th save. The Dodgers win their 20th team dogs, and Evan Phillips pick up, picks up his 20th save. So with uh, one inning, one hit, no earned runs, no walk, struck out two. So the bullpen uh, was pretty good. Uh, picking up Lance Lynn after a rough start. Elite, but limiting the damage to three runs was good. Uh, but yeah, Cutter Crawford, five innings, four hits, two uh, earned runs, one walk, struck out seven. Nick Pavetta, two innings, four hits, four earned runs, two walks, struck out three. Brandon Bernardino uh, got two outs. He walked one and struck out one. John Schreiber, 1.1 innings, two hits, one earned run, and a walk, didn't strike out anybody. But the Dodgers went 7-4. They improved to 79-48. The Red Sox, 68-61 record now after dropping this game. I'll uh, we'll go over the hitting stats. Verdugo, 3 5 with an RBI. Devers, 2 4 and a walk. Justin Turner, in his return against the Dodgers, 0 for 5. Yoshida and Duvall, each 1 for 5. Cassis, 2 for 4. Story, 2 for 4, 2 RBIs and the turn homer. McGuire, 3 for 4 and Reyes, 0 for 3. The other run was on an air. After the Dodgers, Bates, 1 for 4 and a walk. A double and a walk in his uh, return to Fenway. Freeman, 4 for 5 with an RBI. Smith, 1 for 4, a walk and an RBI. Muncie, 2 for 5, 3 RBIs. Peralta, 0 for 3, a walk and an RBI. Hernandez, 1 for 5, an RBI. Michael Bush, 0 for 2, and a walk. Hayward, 0 for 3, and Rojas, a 1 for 4. Two pinch hitters. Rosario, uh, and hit, walked in his play appearance, and Taylor was 0 for 1. But good win for the Dodgers. Uh, they go for uh, their 80th win of the season today at 4 o'clock. So... I'll de recap that immediately after the game ends because then the NASCAR race is tonight for the Cup Series. So I want to get that Dodgers game recapped as soon as possible when it ends. So, yeah. Uh, until next time, I'll Peace. Go Dodgers.